The following show was recorded over a four-week period in New York City after dark. Over 150 taxi drivers were interviewed to find the drivers who were chosen for this program. A taxi was rigged with five lipstick-size hidden cameras. The passengers who hailed this cab were not aware that they were being videotaped until after the ride had ended. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. I'm fucking tired as hell. <laughs> you want to work now? Yeah. You a cop or are you just working a... Yeah, I'm in the rescue squad next door to the prison. Oh, really? I did my other job today all day. What do you do? Construction. Two jobs? Yeah. That's it. Everybody needs money, you know what I mean? Trying to save for a house. Really? It sucks. Well, you do what you gotta do, you know? The rescue squad is your regular uh, PD or? Uh... Yeah, you gotta be a regular cop first. Uh huh. Have at least five years on the job and then you try out for the rescue squad. It's all that SWAT shit, rescue stuff, you know. Yeah. Jumping out of helicopters, climbing bridges. Really? Scuba, scuba diving, you know. Really? So it's fucking 10 times better than being a regular cop. I'm sure you could tell some stories. Oh, forget Anything recently? I was busy as a fuck last night. Really? What'd you do? Fucking shootings and killings and fucking... Around, around here? Um... Avenue V. Fucking destroyed this guy, man. They made Swiss cheese out of him. Drug thing? We don't know yet. Probably. You know, when you figure it out. This guy was riding on one of those mountain bikes. Yeah. They tried to rob him and they fucking started shooting at him. So, you know, after 14 times, I think the guy's dead. Yeah, I'd say so. Give him a break already. I mean, I've seen every conceivable way a person could die. I've seen. Really? Numerous times. What was the most, like, upsetting thing you ever saw? When a guy gets hit by a train, not run over by a train, when he gets stuck in between the platform and the train. You know when a guy's standing on the edge of the platform? Yeah. Okay, somebody pushes him into the train as the train's coming in. You fall in between, the, you ever see a little space? Yeah. You fall in there. Now what happens is when the train is coming down, it spins you around. Now what happens is when your waist down, it spins you around. You know, it actually like folds you around. It just twists you up. Like a, like a plastic bag. Right. You're standing there, all of a sudden what the thing does is it spins you around like this, okay? And you're stuck like this. Don't twist it up. Don't twist it up. Oh, now what happens is when I push that train off your body, the bottom part of your legs spin back this way, and all your fall guts off. fall down and you die in, in less than a minute, you're dead. So what happens is when that train holds your body together this way, He's twisting right. you, well, you're alive. Yeah. Your heart's beating, your brain's okay, you're alive. I can talk to you like this. Right. And I have to tell you, Gonna... You're gonna die. Okay, that's the sad part because I got a lot of young people that are you happening to. You have to tell them. You gotta tell them because you, you're gonna die. How the hell do you we die? know you're gonna die. That's it. There's nothing. I could have a hospital right there, expert doctors right there. You're gonna die because as soon as your body untwists, all your guts and everything, because they've been ripped apart when that train sucked you. How do you feel? So you gotta explain to them. You know, look. You know, the train came down. You know, it spun you around. You feel like you're okay because you're numb from the waist down. You don't feel. And most of the time, they don't feel their legs. But then we have to explain to them that, you know, your balls are facing the wrong way. This is what's going to happen. So what happens is once we take the airbags and push the train off you and try to get you out of there, you're going to die in less than two minutes. So you want to speak to your wife, you want a priest, you want this, you want... Really? Usually what we do is we know when we get a job like that, we automatically call the priest. Yeah. We try to find out who, who the guy is. We get his family down there. We explain to them. Wow. That was One day we left, uh, we had a priest come, the guy's wife. And we cleared the whole fucking train station out. I left his wife down there with the priest. He was, he was so she could hug like... him and kiss him and say whatever she wanted to say to him before we fucking did it. You knew he was gone. He was... That's it. You're dead. It's an injury that there's no way they can fix it. Picture right from underneath your ribcage, down, everything just spins around.
and gets ripped apart. Jeez. It's fucking horrible. That, that's sad yeah, because you're talking to the person, you know? And then, of course, when you get a young girl... When, or, you, when you, if you get into a situation where, I mean, the, the person's already hurt or dead or, you know, but... But there you're going, then the guy's screaming at you. Come on, get me the fuck out of here. And he's trying to get himself out, you know? He's pushing himself. Meanwhile, he has no idea how bad his injuries is, you know? I've mean, seen guys with their heads cut off, blown up, burnt, shot, stabbed, poisoned, hanged, run over by trains, cars, blown up. I mean, fucking you name it, I've seen it. How do you go home to your family after seeing all this this crap? You know, it's a job. That's it. You know, I go home and I forget and about you can, it. Can you, like, leave it? Yeah. You know? The other thing is I noticed that when I'm out with my family, uh, I'm always, like, looking around. You know, I'm always looking for the fucking bad guy to come over and break balls. You expect, you, you expect the worst, like? Yeah. You know, I expect somebody to try to mug us or fucking yeah. hurt. But I fucking shoot you in a minute because I don't give a fuck. That's so, the best thing that you know, being a cop, you know, to give you carry the gun. So yeah, <laughs> ain't no time anybody's gonna fucking hurt me. Just I'll in be, case, I'll be damned if I'm gonna get fucking hurt. This block, right? The next block. There's a small block right after this. Street and First Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that your girlfriend, babe? That? No, 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 no. That's not my girlfriend. Just a friend? Not even. I'll see if she cared a lot for you. Yeah. Well, what's the problem? Can you sit back, though, babe? I know. And yeah. I, I sat back that way before, and you were just like, no. No, I don't want you to get hurt. Why? Did you drive that well? No, I don't drive too well. But, like, I can't do this. Yeah, you, yeah, you can do that. I can do that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, did you have a good time at the club tonight? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Good well, girlfriend had to go home alone, baby. <laughs> Hmm? Well, yeah, well, she's got other girlfriends. You're not the only one? Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even one. Like, no, I'm not her girlfriend, ever. No? Mm -hmm. Who's your girl? Mm -hmm. Who's my girl? Who are my girls? Who are your girls? Mm-hmm. More than one? Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. What's she like? Mm -hmm. She's big and quiet. Sexy? Of course. Wow. Of course, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you live with her? Mm-mm. I don't mm -hmm. live with anybody. I'm never that that much of a fool. No? No. -uh. You can't, like, you cannot live with a girl. You cannot live with a girl. You don't like living with anybody? Because, you know, I love, I love women. I love them. I think they're beautiful and wonderful. And, like, there's so many things I can do with them and whatever. But, like what? You know, whatever, you know. But I never like anything to get normal. I don't want it to be normal. I want to be, like, I want to be having sex with you. I want to be, like, Making love to you day and night and night and day. I don't want to, like, shop with you. Like, that's fucked up. I don't want to shop with you. I just want to make love to you, you know? I want to see you naked. I want to love you. You know? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, I don't want to be married to you. I don't want to have kids with you. I don't want to do anything with you. I just want to, like, see you naked and, like, feel that love and just, like, oh, look at you. You're so beautiful. I just want to, like, do it all, you know? I just want to have, like, full-on desire, you know? You go out with any men, too? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why, somebody broke your heart, love? Men? <laughs> no, I broke their hearts. Mm -hmm. I, I can see that. 
You're very pretty. And I'm sure they all find you very, very desirable. So, but you'd rather not, huh? Oh, please. Those boys. Why are they boring? Boring. B boring. Like, boring is like an amusing word for them. They're just it's simple. It's the best word I can come up with. Simple. What? what oh, wait. So, you go with girls? Who, me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. You never, you never go out with a girl. No. You never went out with a girl. I find that hard to believe. You never won.